to San Jose Mineta Airport. Got the San Jose Mineta International Airport, about 8.7 miles away. Let's, Navigation. Let's go. We're on our way to San Jose Mineta International Airport. Should be there. All right, guys, this is FSD 14221, and uh, we are in for a drive. So we're going to see how the Tesla Cybertruck can handle uh, a good amount of rain. Um, here, we actually have a storm coming into the Bay Area right now. Flights are getting delayed. Um, things are thrashing and, and brashing. So... Um, we're going to, again, do a drive here <clears throat> and see how it handles. And just for um, just for this drive, I'm going to be doing uh, standard mode just because of the water conditions here. And then I just want to see where is this going? I believe it looks like it's going to... Here, let's do so the main thing here is I'm not testing to see if it's really gonna be going into um, let's see this yeah the goal here is to just see how well it will do in rain all right so we're making a left here there's a, a car here out on the left you can't probably see it um, <clears throat> but um, it came to a stop at this four-way stop. The big thing is, is just more of how how does the Tesla Cybertruck handle a ton of rain? Uh, again, this is wet for the Bay Area. Um, and, you know, like I said, Tahoe, for example, which is about four hours away from here, is just getting poured on a ton. So the goal here is just to see, you know, how does it handle this these conditions and you can see I, I have the windshield wiper on auto mode and uh, like I said it's taking care of it I have the heater going as well just to make sure that um, I have the heater going right now as well just to make sure that um, you know the defrost is it's defrosting the windows But, you know, overall, uh, you know, 14221 has been really good. I've noticed a lot of new, um, I've noticed that it's a lot more assertive in lane changes. Um, but the drives are becoming seamless and kind of boring, to be honest with you. Not that you should, you should still watch this, of course. Shout out to Insta360 Ace Pro 2, which I'm recording on. Um, I'll post a link below um, all my drives and really all of our videos are recorded on the ace pro 2 or the x5 okay <clears throat> we're gonna make a left here look you even saw that Prius right there it just went over it was supposed to go straight but instead it made a, a left all right <clears throat> Yeah, and this, you know, I'm hoping you guys can see this, but um, really it might not do it a whole lot of justice, but it's coming down here. You know, we're we're seeing the rain. It, it's, it's light, but uh, as far as like the impact, but it's consistent and constant. And it will only get worse as we get on the highway. We've got about 14 minutes. All of this will be on the highway until we take the exit for the uh, for the actual highway itself. All right. Okay, so here we go. Getting on the highway. Typically, I would actually throw a camera on top, but 
I stopped doing that on the highway. I did lose an X5 with the suction cups on the actual highway as well. So, um, learned my lesson to not do that. So, we'll be not doing that. Air suspension. All right, so one of the interesting things about the Tesla Cybertruck is the windshield wiper, as you can see here, the, the rain just keeps, the water just keeps coming up because it doesn't really get pushed out, if that makes sense. It just gets pushed down. So even in standard right now, it's going 66, 67 miles an hour. And then just for you guys to see my cameras, you can see that they're the especially the back one, it's uh it's got a lot of a lot of rain. But the thankfully the the water's at the bottom of this. So we're going to be getting in the left lane. Oh, looks like we'll be able to stay here. We're going 69, 70 miles an hour. Again, I have this in standard. Um, <clears throat> it does say that the air suspension is able to unrise just because of the amount that I've been having it go up and down. taking this exit it's going up a little fast um, to be honest it's going a little bit fast for my my liking so you can see here <clears throat> I'm going 45 miles an hour right now saw Uh, that car slowed down, so it slowed up. Yeah, for me, it was just going a little bit fast for my liking, so I'm glad that it did slow down there. Yeah, I did, I personally put it into standard range or standard mode um, because I did not want... So it looks like I'm getting a left... B pillar um, has debris on it. So we'll see if that is going to be a theme here and if I can make it. Hoping it can. And again, I just will double check here. I do have it set in auto. Overall, this drive's been seamless um, in pretty, I would say, heavy rain, especially here in the Bay Area, California conditions. It's been absolute perfect. This is exactly what you would hope for and expect.
Looks like a uh, Pellucid out here on the right. Nope, it's not. It's a uh, Porsche. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, for me, what I'm noticing, uh, this versus other drives, again, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's seamless, it's perfect. Um, okay. That car, that Prius was getting really close to me. So, was a little bit nervous there and was looking at, at them. I don't know, um, you know, if they were texting and driving or what the situation was. But this drive's been perfect, seamless. Like I said, you've been seeing this rain. My uh, windshield wiper's been going nonstop since I uh, started the drive. Uh, we have not had any disappointment. And standard is going as fast as I would want it to be going. Um, anything more than probably, like if it was going closer to 75, I would be uh, probably even taking it down to, uh, what is it, chill mode, if not sloth. It's just, it'd be too fast for me. There, you know, in some rain, I've seen the rain where it's been just downpouring and it will top out at 65 miles an hour because of the conditions. So it will, like, even if I was in Mad Max mode, it would stop and go to 65 miles an hour just based on the whole drive itself, uh, just based on the conditions. One interesting thing actually was, and you, you know, you think about it, right? Your Tesla, obviously it knows how many people are sitting in the car. And so uh, there's a functionality for auto on the HOV lanes for it to be able to detect and know how many people are sitting for it to determine whether you should use HOV lanes during the drive. So I obviously have that on auto, but um, just stuff like that, that just, you know, we take for granted as Tesla owners that the stuff is just so automatic. Um, shout out to Elon and his team. Uh, Ashok is even, he posted a two and a half minute video today about literally a fully autonomous ride uh, in Austin. Uh, Elon was driving in one by himself over, um, the past um, on Sunday uh, again tonight is Christmas Eve uh, it's around 9 o'clock here um, and he posted that he had done a fully autonomous ride on Sunday so they're making good progress out there and one of the things too I posted a, a thing on X about the uh, Arc made a, a thing where you know at the end of the day like Waymo is probably going to help pave the way for autonomy from a, um, a, a, um, what's the word? Regulation perspective. But scaling is only going to happen through Tesla and they're going to be able to make these trips cheap and more economical. Again, I hope they do, but at the end of the day, you know, Tesla can make thousands of Model Ys and Cyber Cabs eventually in like one day. They can make thousands of these um, these Model Ys a day. Waymo only has 3,000. And even if they were to, you know, get rid of their Jaguar I-Paces and move on to Zeker, they can't scale those. It's a proof of concept, right? Um, and so it's just one of those things where Tesla is already producing hundreds if not thousands of these a day most of them are going to consumers, but at some point, if they wanted to, they could just, um, if the regulations allow it, throw them into the robo-taxi network and boom. And what people forget is they have dealerships that can help make sure that the, these things are cleaned and charged during their drives. So, all right. Again, I'm, I've been going, you know, tons of rain here. Um, Got about 1.2 miles on the highway, only going about 67, 68 miles an hour. It's good. I, it has not passed 72, which is good.
but Waymo, like I said, that like we need competitors. Tesla needs competitors. So I'm happy they're in the space. I'm not hoping that they fail. Um, you know, sure, is there gonna be issues with their business model? Yada yada. Of course. But you know, like I said, it's the same thing with the EV movement. Like Rivian and Lucid, I don't want those companies to fail. Do I think that they have a issue with, you know, potentially their autopilot technology and um, and their business model? Sure. But am I gonna sit here and root, oh, I hope they fail? No, not one bit. Not one bit. All right, so we're about to exit here. Um, I'm just, let me just double check where is it gonna take me. Um, as long as it takes me to the terminal, but I'm probably gonna disengage because again, I'm picking up some family. But the big thing is, is that Tesla can handle a ton of rain. And even if, if I show you here, even with the cameras being somewhat impacted, it's still going, it's still handling it. Um, and I did get a notification about the B pillar. So, and you know, it was telling me that, you know, visibility may impact, uh, may, FSD may, supervised may be degraded, poor weather detected. So no matter what though, this is exciting. Tesla has come such a long way. They're headed to an even brighter future. So I'm personally really excited. Um, you know, I also just want to say Merry Christmas to all of you guys who celebrate. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for supporting this channel, for supporting me. Uh, you know, I've been on a journey and a pass. Uh, I've been on a journey that I would have never dreamed of. And it's been all because of you guys and the support that you've given. So again, I'm going to finish this loop. This It's going to loop here. Um, this drive has been seamless. 14221 has been great. Making very good uh, lane change movements. Um, not hesitating at all. So thank you again for everything. And uh, I will catch you guys all on the next one, on the next update. So hopefully you guys can get it. I know 1422 already rolled out.